Hey everyone, this is Remnant. Welcome to episode two of Planet... Oh, gosh. Hey everyone, this is Remnant. Welcome to episode two of Balboa Zoo. Uh, hey everyone, this is Remnant. Welcome to Planet Two of... <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to episode two of Balboa Zoo. Uh, my name is Remnant. Thank you so much for clicking on this video <laughs> and for watching. Uh, last time in episode one, we were building this entry plaza area for this zoo. Uh, and we were kind of going for a desert, um, a desert garden kind of vibe. And I am basing this zoo off of, very loosely off of the San Diego Zoo. Um, in the first episode, I kind of explained that this entry area is based, or it's basically... No, no, I, I did some stuff myself, okay? I, I ripped off some design elements, but it's pretty much... It, it's kind of original. Uh, this is the uh, this is the Fleet Science Center, and I decided to make it the entrance of the zoo. This is a quick view in Tejid Cam. I, uh, I really love how this came out. Um, and also, I just wanted to give a really big shout out to, to Mike Sheets because he kind of gave me a little bit of a shout out and a lot of you guys came over from him. So, um, so yeah, a huge shout out to you guys who are new subscribers and a very big thank you to Mike Sheets for, uh, being super cool and, uh, shouting me out. That's awesome. We actually did a, or I actually did a little thing for his Planet Botanic, which is super cool. So you guys have to watch out for that in the near future. I'm not sure when that's coming out. Uh, so today, uh, we are, let me get out of this. So, oh, important. Okay. All right. You need to leave. So this is basically an overview of what we did. Um, Obviously, a lot of it's unfinished. I am not going to... T uh, I'm not going to touch this <laughs> for this episode, uh, frankly, because I'm kind of, like, a little bit tired of working on this area. So, what we're going to do on this side is obviously add this little... Uh, this area that comes after you get your tickets. What is the what is the place called where you end... Like, could, this is the entrance plaza... What is this? The entrance? The area after the entrance plaza? The area after you get tickets? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. So we are going to be working on this area today, which is basically, um, I want to add like a gift shop on this side. Um, I need to add uh, a better like entrance and I guess like a lobby area for the planetarium. From the street view that's on Google Maps, it's literally from 2009. <laughs> so it's bo it's boring. Like, it's pretty boring looking. There's just, like, some, like, asphalt that comes through here. And then there's, like, a street that's over here. So I kind of want to do something that feels a little bit more designed. Um, but I want to make sure to still stick with not really the vibe that the San Diego Zoo has, but just the San Diego slash Southern California vibe. Um, so I have some ideas. I kind of want to do like a water, like some, something to do with like a water, a water garden or something, but we'll see how that pans out. So, um, that's going to go over here. Uh, and then if you guys have, have ever been to the San Diego Zoo, there's like this, you know, there's like some stores and some shops over here. Then there's like a street that goes through here ish. And then on this other side, there is like a really cool like flamingo exhibit. So I don't I don't know if I'm going to tackle the exhibit today. I know I want to do this part, but we'll see. I might get tired of doing this and then do uh, some of the flamingos. So um, yeah, check back with you guys soon. All right, everyone. So I did a little bit of work. Oh my god, this this guy. These people just keep complaining. Okay, you're there for scale. I went ahead and made a little bit of a facade for the 
gift shop. What I want to do is, you know, have the exit right here to the park. Um, this is very much not set in stone. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do. Um, this exit was, these exit gates were made by Mask Bandit. Um, so you guys got to download those because those are pretty awesome. So basically what you would do is, you know, it, you can enter through here or through here and then you can exit through here and then leave if you want. Um, but there's going to be like a way around here. Um, and I'm experimenting now with some fountain some water fountain work um something that i've seen so many people do um and something that uh mike has talked about on his uh planet botanic has been using these particle effects <laughs> um and placing them over over something and you basically get water without having to you know worry about actually placing water um in the game because that could be pretty limiting it totally looks real and uh, it's it's pretty awesome. So what I have is kind of this um, this system right now. The water's like kind of coming out of here, trickling along down here. Um, I'm going to put one on this side. I'm not exactly sure uh, what I'm going to do yet, but I just kind of wanted to show you guys this. I'm sure you've seen it a lot from other people, but um, I just wanted to show you uh, ways that you can do it um in something that's not so natural looking you can you can apply it to something really modern and um you know something that's not as organic so um yeah it's a very little update but i'm gonna keep working and then come back when i have more done okay we are back with another update um i as you can see i have done uh i've kind of you know polished this um water fountain area and um, kind of made it a little bit more believable. Uh, and I have added another one on this side just to kind of, you know, polish it off. I'm not quite sure how I feel about these modern lines. Um, I think it looks great, but it's not screaming like... It's not screaming zoo to me, and it's not really screaming Southern California, San Diego. <laughs> so... We're gonna see. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep working with this, and we're gonna see what's going on. But uh, I wanted to show you this. So this is like a mangrove pond, uh, which I think turned out pretty cool. Um, it's kind of inspired by a, a mangrove uh, pond tank that I saw at um, the California Academy of Sciences in San Francisco. Um, I just went there and. It was super cool and it was super inspiring. So I kind of wanted to do something like that. Down here, you can kind of see, uh, you know, we've we've actually made this like a little exhibit. Um, you know, sadly, there's no fish or anything in the game, but it'd be cool if one day, one day it'd be cool if like maybe fish can like spawn in here or something. But for now, it's like super cool. Like no one's going to spend a lot of time looking at this. But yeah, I think that this turned out, uh, this turned out great. It's definitely something that I think I would see uh, you know, somewhere upon entering something. I mean, it's basically what they had when you first enter the, uh, California Academy of Sciences. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm digging it. Uh, there's like a little placard, which doesn't say anything on it, but you know, we could just pretend it says something on it. And, uh, I put this little guard here or this little railing here, because I know if I didn't, that people would just be smudging that glass or trying to get in there. Um, which, you know, if you want, you you can touch the glass. You know, I always see people doing that, but this is a pretty good good gap, and uh, not as many people will touch it. And over here, I tried to be realistic, and <laughs> like under here is the filtration and all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, but you know, I haven't. I obviously haven't done a lot. It's literally just been this uh, something. <laughs> I take a long time when it comes to. Um, when it comes to like laying out stuff, park layout isn't one of uh, my strongest uh, talents, I guess, in the game. So it kind of takes me a little while. Um, I'm actually a little bit concerned because I think that we might be going, I think we might be going too far this way. Like I think that we might need to squish some of this stuff up here. So I might, um, I might get rid of this and then just push this in here. So we'll see. Um, We'll see, but I, I'm liking the direction that this is going in so far. All right. Well, we have made some progress. Uh, you can see here that 
I have added um, some stuff to the facade to make it very believable that there is a gift shop in there. Uh, I'm not done with this. Um, I'm not quite sure what I want to name <laughs> what I want to name the gift shop, and I don't know if I'm going to keep this here. But that giraffe's that giraffe's cute, and I really like a lot of those um, decals. So I'm probably going to keep those there, and then maybe put like a name here. But we'll see. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this update because I don't have enough brain space right now for that. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you um, some other stuff that I worked on. Um, I added a you know little path design. Like I said in the last episode, I like adding um, you know some some path design where I can to make it seem uh, you know a little bit more designed and just a little bit um, a little more unique. Uh, and then over here, I have added this Fleet Water Garden, kind of like a dedication uh, <laughs> to whoever Mr. Fleet is. I'm not sure yet if I'm going to keep those. The, this amazing font is by Ricey, um, who you need to check out because she has amazing fonts just all around. So be sure to check her out. Um, and then over here, I have finally added, um, you know, this little lobby area. Basically, when you go in, just picture like... A, uh, like a movie theater lobby, just not as like uh, garish and flashy. Um, and then over here, I put a little, um, like a little backstage door that is for uh, these kiosks or you know these ticket booths. Um, you know, it's I it, it it's it's a little janky, it's slightly janky. It's not pretty or anything, but um, I just thought that looked pretty realistic. Um, and then I also something that I really wanted to make sure to do is adds you know some elevation changes and something that you'll see i mean if you guys have ever been to the san diego zoo um the elevation changes are extreme <laughs> like extreme to the point where i don't really like going there like as bad as that sounds i don't really like going there because the amount of literal hiking that you need to do is a lot um but it's great because you can like they have like a, a bus that you can take and they have some shuttles um i actually prefer going to the safari park because uh, there are some hills but it's not as bad uh, something that i want to do in this park or in this zoo is add a lot of those elevation changes even if they do seem a bit extre extreme because i feel like that's kind of a cool challenge and that's something that i haven't done a lot of um i r relatively kind of do some flatter things which sucks because every time I have done something that has elevation changes, it just looks so much better. So I would definitely challenge you guys to add, you know, even just slight elevation changes like this um, because they look really neat. I am going to work on some stuff. I'm not, I, I think I might work on um, maybe doing the animal exhibit soon because I'm getting a little bit tired of this, even though it doesn't seem like I've done a lot. This I, I've deleted and I've built and I've deleted and built so many things so you're seeing like you know a, a, a version that i'm actually happy with sort of um i'm st i still don't know how i'm feeling about this very angular and um sharp feeling uh i just it looks cool but i'm, I'm not sure if i like it for this park which is scaring me because i've already done a lot of work on it and i have a feeling that i might <laughs> still not like it so until the next update. All right, we are back with another update. Um, I have added a little bit of gardening over or landscaping over uh, over here, and um, you know a little bit more coverage, um, some some uh, some wall art. That's probably just like this is either paint. Or, like, really cheap temporary, like, vinyl sticker. <laughs> um, something that's really fun is I tried to make um, some, like, interactive, uh, like, directories. Which I think look really cool, but I don't know if they look too mall-like. And I don't know if they would necessarily... This just feels too new. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really like how this looks, but it just looks too new. This is well. This area looks cool, but over here, this is just looking too new to me and too clean. Um, so I'm really not. I'm really not sure if I dig it. I'm not sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and go over here because I have started on the flamingos. 
Um, I, I know the flamingos is such a typical animal to put in the very front of your zoo, but I'm trying to stay true to the vibe of what the uh, San Diego Zoo has, and they have flamingos. So um, I've made like this kind of cool um, observation area, I guess, that kind of juts out. Uh, you know, I tried to make it as realistic looking as possible, tried to do my research. Um, I wish that the, w the water would have worked with me a little bit more so that I could have, you know, gotten it a little bit higher. Um, but this, you know, this is looking cool. This is very bare bones. I have obviously not done anything. Um, this is also my first exhibit. So just trying to get things to work for me has been... <laughs> has been very difficult um but also a very nice thing is that i've turned off uh i've turned off the animal welfare which i know um might upset some people but i'm you know this is a lot of space if they're flamingos okay and it looks pretty <laughs> so i'm going to try and kind of um cover up a lot of this stuff to make it um, a little bit more polished. Um, and when I mean polished, I mean, like, I don't want it to look so natural that it looks like the wild. I want it to literally look like it's a zoo exhibit. So, um, a way that I've done that over here is, um, oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh. Uh, something that I've done is, uh, along the banks is add, like, this, like, mud, basically concrete that, um, will basically acts as um, a divider between like the 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 pool and then the um, the land that they're on so um, yeah I mean it's kind of I'm obviously not gonna lay a bunch of stuff in here I might change the terrain uh, paint to make it uh, a little bit more believable that this is actually like a pool and not just like a natural pond um, so I, I do want some some element of this being artificial just to make it a little bit more believable but um something that i really dig in the uh in the san diego zoo is they have this you know they have this observation area over here but then they also have this like windy wooden deck type path over here that this kind of connects i think this is like called like the monkey trail <laughs> and um it connects to you know obviously some monkeys and uh, but it's cool because you know you have the flamingos over here and then i think they have like another like tropical bird over here and it's you know the same water source but it's just like it's just divided by this path so uh i really dig that i'm obviously going to add a lot more uh, a lot more plants uh to make it seem you know more lush and more grown in but um i'm super excited actually to make this look good <laughs> and uh it, just adding these, you know, very few, I guess, or well, there's quite a lot of flamingos. It kind of, it adds so much life to the zoo and so much movement that was kind of missing. So, um, and it's a really cool, cool shot right here with the, uh, the science center in the back. All right. A uh, quick little update. I have kind of started some gardening over here. Um, I, I have to say that I really, really adore these gravel, uh, pathways um and then completely breaking the game and not using them as <laughs> as paths uh but i i really dig how this is looking um it's just like you know a, a, a side little garden that's going to um basically block the view of this it's going to be like a backstage area so this you can see that it's like this is for staff and it's going to go to uh some staff buildings that are over here um, but I kind of want to make this like kind of, you know, run all along here and then have this really lush, nice path that's not super showy. It's not going to be like, you know, a feature garden or anything, but it's just like a little, a little side thing that's really beautiful to look at and really serene. But uh, its main purpose is to kind of block this backstage area. So, uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. Also, can we talk about how fast these flamingos have babies? It's like they're horny and they won't stop having sex. You can see that I have added quite a few things. Uh, these guys are so cute. And uh, this this uh, this exhibit's really cool looking. So um, I added this little bridge uh, basically for the... Um, what's his name? For the zookeepers. 
And, uh, I mean, technically they can, and you'll see, yeah, this, pre yep. So they can walk through the water if they need to, but realistically, they're not going to do that in real life. So I made sure to add a little bridge. It's cute. And it's funny because <laughs> the flamingos really, they use it a lot. Uh, and, uh, so you can see I added more of this, um, border to the pools and um something that i see a lot in zoos is like if they don't have anything else to do they'll just throw like driftwood down and i tried to make something that looks like driftwood hopefully it does uh, it's still not lush enough to me um so i am going to probably add a lot more stuff i really want to be intentional though and i don't want to just add a bunch of I don't want to add a bunch of, you know, plants just for the sake of making something lush. Once again, still not sure how I feel about this. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Okay. So, update number 517 for this episode. Uh, worked a little... Uh, no. Um, I have added some information, uh, information boards um, that you can, you know glance at while you look at the flamingos you know these are important to have just because there's always going to be some kind of information on the, on the animal they're usually interactive and um i just think it's important to kind of have this uh intentional clutter for your zoo because it kind of gives it a little bit more life even though you know it's not movement but it's just it's something that uh you know you would interact with so um yeah, it's just, it's it's literally just some signs that I have colored all one color. Um, and then I think I used some planks. And these guys are just some of those uh, electrical switches. Um, which come, uh, you can do so many things with these electrical switches. Um, I, so, yeah. Wow, the lighting in this game is so cool. <laughs> all right, so... Um, the next update uh if you are still here and still watching even after all these updates i thank you so much i just wanted to show you guys some of the stuff that i've been working on and i also wanted to show you and let you know that when you're building um be sure to every once in a while jump into tejid cam and just take a gander at what it looks like from the peep view um because a lot of the times it can look great when you're just kind of working on it from above but it's really cool to kind of take a look at it from uh, the view that the peeps are looking at. Um, I wanted to show you this area. I've landscaped it. I am really happy with how it's looking. Uh, I think it looks pretty natural, but also has that artificial <laughs> look, which is funny because I think that's what a lot of people don't want to go for, but I love that stuff, man. I added these, uh, these planters here. Uh, you see a lot of this in Balboa Park. So I kind of wanted to add some of that, some of those elements, um, and I have added that on this side too. Ch I've changed this tree five thousand times. <laughs> this one, this tree is made uh, by Mike Sheets, and uh, mostly because I'm just still not feeling this area, and I feel like that's just the theme of today's episode. Um, but I'm not. I, I'm honestly not feeling this. I don't know why I'm not feeling it. It looks nice, but I'm just not feeling it. It just looks a little jumbled. And I think it's because when I built it, I did not have a clear vision in mind. And you can tell this entrance area is looking a little bit like California Adventure. And I'm not sure how I feel about it. They just had no idea what they were doing. And they're trying to make up for it. And it's just not going well for the Balboa Zoo right now. So I'm probably going to rip all of this. I, I hate to say that because I, I worked so long on this crap. But I think I'm gonna, like it's pretty, that, well, that looks pretty, but I think I'm gonna rip all of it out. And I'm crying on the inside and I might cry on the outside soon because I worked pretty hard on this. But when something doesn't feel right, it just doesn't feel right. And this doesn't feel right. But on the bright side, the flamingos are looking good. Hey guys. All right, <laughs> I did it. I ripped everything out and I'm very traumatized and everything looks really weird. So I got rid of those fountains that we had and I added this and I really dig it. This to me screams Southern California. It screams San Diego. These like electrical outlets. Yeah. <laughs> it definitely takes a long time 
and it uh, took a lot of work. This is a lot of pieces going into your zoo, so be sure to use these in places that there's going to be a lot of people, and uh, it makes sense. So it kind of makes sense to do a cool, like, mosaic tile design, you know, at the entrance of your park, because that's where everyone's going to be. But this was definitely feeling drab to me, and it was lacking some curves, it was lacking some life, and I think that this really helped. You know, use use pieces that you wouldn't use normally in, and use them in very unconventional ways. I, I guess I was the first one to do this? I don't know. I was just looking for pieces that were small. Oh, 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 why is that here? Why? So it's just those switches, and then I just put like a plaster piece behind it to act as grout and I just, you know, rotated it around and also did it on the bottom. I put these um, particle effects in here and it got, it, it, it's so believable, right? It's so freaking believable. And I'm really digging how this looks. Um, I also added one on this side. Obviously I need to clean up all of this stuff. I just kind of did this right now. Um, on this side, I have put a bench. Um, obviously this needs to be cleaned up. I don't really dig this cushion that I tried to add, but, uh, this is all stuff that's going to be cleaned up. Um, so this just goes to show you guys that like, even though it might seem that I know what I'm doing, I built something at first that yes, it looked really nice, but I wasn't happy with it. So if you're not happy with something, don't be afraid to tear it down and start over again, because you'll definitely be able to, um, you'll definitely be able to get something, uh, in the long run that you really enjoy. It's a lot of rambling on my part, but I just wanted to kind of put that out there. It's okay to start over. It's okay to tear things down. All right, guys. So I have basically finished up this uh, this area. Um, I'm in love with it now. I feel like <laughs> the whole time I was really doubting it. So up here, um, you know, I decided I did get rid of those cushions. Um, and I put in this, this tree over here, uh, added this planter. I wanted to kind of make it, uh, you know, y yeah, you ever see this, this design? <laughs> All right. That's what it is. They, they don't look great up close. So don't go up close. Just go far away, go far away, like right here and just squint, right? That looks good, right? <laughs> There's another bench on this side. Um, you know, right kind of in front of the entrance of the the unnamed gift shop. Um, so I also added these cool little banners. Um, a very big shout out to the people at the Bro Nation Discord. I was kind of going through a little bit of a... Uh, I didn't know what to do <laughs> for these banners. I kind of had like some rainbow colors and I had like a gradient. Um, then I decided on this pattern and I'm really... Uh, I really dig it. So a uh, big thank you to the people that helped me over there. I wanted to show that I have left, I have left like this back here. Um, it's just like a corrugated fence and I've just left it very visible. And that's something that you'll see in zoos, even the best of zoos. Uh, you know, no, this is something that you will definitely see. Um, so I wanted to be sure to still, you know, keep some sort of man-made element there. I've added, you know, some landscaping to make it a little bit more lush. I have tried my best to make it look intentional and not like I'm just adding stuff to add stuff. So yeah, that's, this is basically it. This was episode two. Um, I feel like we got a lot of stuff done and I feel like I was confused for almost the whole entire episode. Um, I didn't know how to do flamingos, but now I do. I didn't know what I wanted the entrance to look like, but now I do until probably episode three when I change everything again. Next up, I'm going to... Let's, let, let's look at the future. So next up, I think I'm going to either work on these, the bus tours and then the reptile house. Um or just both of them at the same time because I'm kind of someone who can't work on one thing at a time. Yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed um, this episode. Thank you so much for sticking around and being okay with my rambling. You guys are very kind in the comments. I The only slightly negative comment I got was that I need a pop filter, and bro, I'm right there with you. Keep leaving those comments. I love I love reading, you know, what you guys are thinking. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe if you'd like. And I am also on Twitter and stuff like that. And it's all in the description. So um, I'm going to sign off for this episode. Until next time, um, thank you guys so much for watching. 
all right i'll see you guys later bye